Chris Lee and Blake Lovell of Southeastern 14, presented by Stakes. We are previewing Missouri's road trip to Auburn. Uh, Things not going well for either Tiger team here, and and what sort of looks like a loser might want to jump off the bridge type of game, the way things have gone in recent weeks for these teams. Give me the Tigers, Chris. I got the Tigers. Take the Tigers. That's that's Um, our red. That's our lock. That's the only thing I feel confident about leading into this game. And that is not me joking around. Like I have no confidence in what's going to happen in this game. And it's because of what you just said from what we've seen from these two teams at this point, I have no idea how this one could unfold. And that's why I would be like, you know, the, the betting line right now, Auburn, a seven point favorite. Uh, they're a touchdown favorite here in this game. The over unders up to like almost 54. Now I think, um, Good luck if you're a professional better. We are not because I don't know where you would possibly have a strong feel about this game unless, Chris, to me, the the one thing would just be, is Auburn just better than Missouri in terms of, yeah, and I think, like, again, offensively, like, we, we know what we've seen from these two teams, but I wonder, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, is Auburn just better than Missouri in terms of just the personnel, um, even though there's clearly – there's been a lot of similarities to where both teams are at right now in terms of how they played. But I still wonder about that question because I just, we said it, we dropped Missouri to last in our power rankings this week behind Vanderbilt behind South Carolina and behind Auburn, who we had at 11. Um, that, that remains to be seen, but I think that's otherwise I don't have a great feel on this game. Okay. By the way, this one on ESPN noon Eastern Auburn, Opened as a six point favorite. It has gone to seven and a half over under open at 51 and a half. It's gone to 54 and a half. We're both shaking our head on that one. Yeah. Let's talk about Auburn on offense first. Uh, and boy, there's some, there's some things to talk about here. Auburn has played TJ Finley and Robbie Ashford. The latter seems to maybe be their better option, but Auburn was so thrilled with both those guys that Zach Calzada was warming up whom it got in the trade with Texas A&M in the offseason. Um, Calzada, I don't – what I heard was not very good in camp. So, <laughs> where does that leave you? You you had the the mysterious Tank Bigsby disappearing act. That's probably not how I should phrase it, but there was a series of questions in the press about why Bigsby, who is – Auburn's best player was not getting the ball in the second quarter when it was a game. I think he had 11 carries. Charquez Hunter, who's a pretty good backup, I think only got eight touches. So, like, we've seen Bigsby, I think it was the bowl game last year, where he just kind of disappeared, didn't get touches. So, you wonder what's going on there. Uh, The offensive line has been getting ripped a little bit in the media. But, you know, here's a funny thing, Blake. Auburn's averaging 6.6 yards a play, which is not awful, uh, but it's the turnovers and it's the red zone conversions. What the quarterback room, I think, is from memory, six picks, uh, two touchdowns. I think there's been some fumbles in there. Ball security has been a big thing for Auburn, I believe. Well, and it's been a big problem for Missouri, too, and I know we'll talk about that, but if you look at these two teams nationally and where they stand – Auburn 114, then a big tie there with a, quite a few other teams, uh, turning it over eight times this year. So out of 131, they're at 114. Missouri is at 103, also tied with a bunch of other teams, turned it over seven times this year. So um, that's why I think this makes it so hard to predict. Like you said, specifically for the Auburn offensive side, um, we thought we knew enough about their running game coming into the season that we're like, okay, that'll fix some of their issues, right? Um, but – it, nothing can fix just turning the ball over. And and I think that's where, you know, th- the questions begin is for starters, I don't think Missouri is going to be able to present the type of defensive front to this point. That's probably going to cause, they, they shouldn't be able to, I think, force a lot of those turnovers with the, with the Auburn offense, but, but still, you know, that's, but is it just that the Auburn offense just has no rhythm right now? And, and they, you know, could just turn it over quite a few times in this game. I, that, I mean, just as we know, it just makes it so much easier when, you know, you're the defensive side of that and, you know, that can give Missouri the boost they need in this one. So I I don't, Chris, like I'm just telling you, like I don't have a great feel from what we're going to see here. I think Auburn should be able to exploit some things on Missouri's defense, but 
we thought the same thing against San Jose State, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you know, it's that's what it's become. Is is I thought that two weeks ago, but we just didn't see it. And they certainly didn't do it against Penn State. So, um, so yeah, I I don't have a lot of sort of confidence, even against a team like Missouri, that I think right now, as we said, is kind of reeling itself. So. Before we talk about when Missouri's got the ball, we've got some big games coming up this week in the SEC to add some excitement. We went ahead and made, or will be making some predictions in the Stakes app. We want to hear if you guys agree or disagree. Go to playwithstakes.com. That's S-T-A-K-E-S. Playwithstakes.com forward slash 14. Sign up for Stakes. Place your predictions on our question. Use the invite code Southeastern14. When you sign up, you'll get a double welcome bonus. So, We'll put some questions in, see if you agree or disagree. Okay. Missouri's offense, not exactly a thing of beauty either. Missouri is averaging 5.9 yards, or excuse me, 5.8 yards per snap. Uh, Brady Cook has been shaky. They're not getting the ball to Luther Burden the way they want. The running game lacks explosiveness. Auburn has got a good defense. It did not play well against Penn State. Uh and Penn State had sort of a questionable offense. I, I do think Auburn's defense is better than it showed last week. I, th I think the question to me, Blake, is just motivation. Um, we worried about Auburn's season going bad and it just all imploding before the year started with the Brian Harson stuff in the offseason. No, again, Missouri fans not real thrilled with the direction of that program in a lot of ways either, so maybe it cancels out. But – I don't know. I, I think Missouri's offense has not overwhelmed me, and I do think Auburn's got enough, plenty enough in the toolbox to, to stop what they do. They can get after the passer with Hall and some of those guys. I don't like Missouri to score a lot of points in this one. Yeah, that's that's my thing, too, and that's why I think we're both kind of looking at the under in this game, wondering, okay, are both of these teams going to be able to put up enough points? And yeah, Missouri's offense, I think, and, and especially on the road too, right? Like we only have a one game sample size in Missouri on the road, but that was against Kansas state and they look bad. Ooh. Um, I guess the Kansas state team that, as we mentioned, lost to Tulane. So, um, they just did not look good on the road in that game. Now, again, it's a little bit different. Maybe now that you've, you've got three games under your belt. Um, you know, you're not coming off the most impressive winning a Stavling Christian, but there were some things there. I think they did on both sides that were at least things you can carry into this game. Say, all right, maybe we've, we figured a few different things out, but um, yeah, I, I don't really, I mean, unless Luther Burden's got to be involved. We've said that many times. I don't, it's, that's no secret now. Like Missouri's just a better team when he gets involved. And I think they're going to have to get him involved here uh, in this game to be able to have a chance to win. Uh, but in terms of like putting up points here, that's where it comes back to the turnovers, right? And it's just, can can Missouri limit their turnovers? Can their quarterback play be good enough to present, prevent some of those mistakes that I don't think you can make, especially on the road in an SEC environment in this type of game where maybe it is an Auburn team that is to the point, Chris, where it's like, like we, this is it. Like this is all, like we're almost close to the panic button now. And if we lose at home to Missouri, like the panic button is fully pushed and yeah. we don't know where things are headed. So it is a team that, has something to play for it's just i mean we'll we'll see how they respond but i do think auburn's defense can do some things here because i, I don't think you know missouri is going to present the same kind of challenges that a, that a penn state did so okay we are not professional betters and we don't want to be but we do watch a lot of sec football i feel like i've got a little more clarity on this one surprisingly um mm. go for it Okay, uh, Missouri allowed five and a half yards per rush to Kansas State a couple of weeks ago, 4.1 to Abilene Christian last week. I feel like Auburn's going to be able to run the ball. I, I just don't like either team scoring a ton of points. I really don't like Missouri scoring a lot of points in this game. The implied final based off the over-under and the spread is 31-23. I like the under, and I think Auburn is better than seven and a half points better than Missouri. Can Missouri force some turnovers? They have done that to this point. My only thing with the defense is, like I said, I think it's the the opponents thus far, and I worry, you know, again. But again, is this is this that much different, right, Chris? I mean, in terms of the offensive scheme on the other side, is Auburn that much different mm -hmm. offensively than some of the other teams they face? So maybe Missouri can force a few turnovers that then I maybe gave them credit for a few minutes ago. That will be a big part of this game. We're previewing every SEC game for Week Four. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and be sure not to miss any of these.